ever spent the 4th of July holiday at a backyard barbecue, then you've probably seen or heard someone setting off amateur fireworks. Maybe you've even done it yourself. And while it may seem like fun, it can also be frighteningly dangerous. Jeff Reddick joining us at Capitol Plaza, the site of Albany's big fireworks show. And Jeff, when it comes to this, it's really best to be an observer rather than a participant. Yeah, you know, many folks, Kay, probably get sick of hearing this message every year and probably feel like we're out here being the no-fun police. But it's really as simple as the message that we got from medical experts today. They say no one thinks they're going to be injured by fireworks. That is, until they are. Just about anyone can hammer a nail. Racks, when we're putting the racks together, making sure they're secure. And just about anyone can clean a tube. The racks need to be cleaned out from previous shows of any type of debris in there. But not just anyone can set off fireworks. This is, this is powerful stuff and it should be kept to the professionals. It's been 27 years since John Flanagan worked his first fireworks show. Put two here and maybe even sneak two in here. Now managing the capital region's biggest show, safe to say he knows the power of pyrotechnics. There's about 10,000 fireworks going off. This year we added a little over 400 shells just to the finale. Trauma from being hit with a projectile, burns as far as amputations or worse. Just a few of the risks that paramedic Michael Russo says come along with explosives. Russo says it's fine for trained professionals to blow their show sky high. You at home, not so much. Fireworks are illegal in New York, so I would say that if you're not doing them in a setting where you have a permit or have the proper training and safety thing and safety measures in place that I would strongly recommend not using them. Around the 4th of July, there's always greater risk. Unfortunately, a lot of people in you know, backyards, you know, then they're, they're drinking and not a good mix. So officials want to hammer one point home. Uh, it's common sense. Common sense does occasionally play a factor. Accidents do happen, though. I mean, you could be a trained fireworks professional, um, and something could still happen. Um, so, I mean, they're called accidents for a reason. So best to just sit back instead and let the trained professionals put on another amazing fireworks show. Sure to be a great one here at Capitol Plaza on the evening of July 4th. And if you can't make it down here to see it, you can always watch it live on TV, only on Time Warner Cable News. And you can also check it out on your computer screen or live on our mobile app. Okay. Absolutely. A great show. And Jeff Reddick is not the fun police. He's a fun guy. And we thank you for that report. Thanks, Jeff.